Astigmatism is a term that is familiar to all of us. But more familiar are short sight and long sight. In short sight, we can see near objects clearly and distant objects are blurred. In long, long sight, distant objects are clear and near objects are blurred. In astigmatism, what happens is very interesting. If you take the cornea, the cornea is circular in shape. If you take a cross section, it is a perfect sphere or circle. If there is any alteration in this shape, like the cornea becomes conical or it becomes elongated or it's oval, then either the vertical meridian or the horizontal meridian has a change in refractive power. For example, the vertical meridian can have normal vision and the horizontal meridian can have short sight or long sight. Such a person will see a straight line with a slight curvature. If you take the example of a stick that is dipped in water, you can see the end of the stick slightly deviated. The same effect is seen in astigmatism. And this signal is transferred to the brain. The brain knows that the image is not bent and it is a straight one. So the brain processes it and reverts the image and makes it straight. This is the reason why children with astigmatism rarely complain of visual difficulties. They complain mostly of headache. The headache comes because the brain has to process the straight image. It recognizes that it is bent. It has to reprocess it and straighten it for the person to understand what it is. This double effect causes the headache. This can be corrected with cylindrical lenses. In cylindrical lenses, in one axis there will be normal power or zero. In the other axis there will be a power for short sight or long sight. That can be given as glasses, which is common, or contact lenses. And in the latest 100% blade free LASIK, this can be corrected with LASIK. The most common cause of astigmatism developing in our children is when they watch TV lying on the sofa in a sideways position or because of genetic factors.